Yeah, floating solar is picking up recently in India for over the last three years now because land availability is very scarce and um, India is a very land constrained uh, country. Joining us is Mr. Shreyan Shagarwal, director from Flotex Solar. Flotex Solar has been doing some great work around floating technology in the solar industry. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about um, you know floating technology in the solar industry and why it's picking up pace. Hi. Yeah, floating solar is picking up recently in India for over the last three years now because land availability is very scarce and um, India is a very land constrained uh, country. So we have a lot of captive reservoirs, dams and lakes. So uh, floating solar is picking up in those markets and floating solar has many advantages over ground mounted solar um, as it stops the evaporation loss and um, again land is scarce so we can use those captive lakes uh, to put up the floating plants. So tell us about some of your uh, biggest projects. So we are uh, very grateful. We just commissioned our largest floating solar project in India, 130 megawatt NTPC Ramagundam. Along with that, we have completed 21 megawatt NTPC Kayamkulam as well, 21 megawatt NTPC Shrimadri, 34 megawatt NTPC Kavas, and 28 megawatt NTPC Oraya as well. That's great. And what are your uh, upcoming projects and expansion plans? So we are trying to target over 450 megawatts in um, Omkareshwar by government of Madhya Pradesh. We've already secured a few orders and um, that, that is the plan for the next year. And any marketing strategies going ahead that you're uh, you know, putting your energy into? No, we just want to secure like a dominant market share in floating, how we have uh, done in other companies as well. And we are looking to have like a 75% market share over the next two years. So tell us what is the difference between ground mounted technology and floating technology? So a floating solar technology is very site specific. Uh, we generally do a site survey first and uh, a lot of anchoring and mooring challenges are there in floating solar. So in different projects we have to do different type of anchoring solutions. Uh, for example in Ramagundam we used dead blocks. Uh, we dropped uh, more than 3000 blocks in a reservoir. We have a full barge system and a, uh, divers and boats available with us and uh, in other projects we used outside piling um, and anchor bolt solutions as well. So uh, every site is very different and our team, our team of designers go to a site and see how the anchoring and solution will be fit for the site. So it also wins over ground mounted when it comes to the space constraint. So can you tell us a little more about that? Uh, uh, it requires the same amount of space as a ground mounted. It's not that a floating solar takes less amount of space. But again, uh, land is very uh, scarce and we have a lot of water bodies which are uh, vacant and they are not being used. For example, on all these um, thermal power plants, they have all these captive reservoirs which are idle. So we can use those reservoirs and those uh, lakes uh, to put up the floating solar installations. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us.